Welcome to the KFOX Equipment Room. Usually it's the locker room, but we're in the KFOX Equipment Room where Danny Heatley takes care of his sticks and gets ready for the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight. Uh, Danny, this is always a, a big game for people that uh, are from across Canada that live in the Bay Area because of the Toronto Maple Leafs name. You've lived with this uh, rivalry with the Ottawa Senators for all those years. Tell us what it's like to be in that fishbowl. You know, uh, what the fuck are you talking about, fishbowl? You think I'm a fucking fish or something? What the hell's wrong with you? I'm a fucking all-star. You know? I'm not a fucking fish. The fuck, you know, what the hell is the question is that? Tell me a little bit about what's going on with the goal scoring with the San Jose Sharks. It's, it's not just yourself, obviously, that, that, that hasn't been putting the puck in the net with regularity. It's been the entire team, and you've been getting, you know, you get 11 shots on net, and the net minders are stopping them. Yeah, the net minders are stopping them. Yeah, I want you to fucking tell the whole world I'm underachieving. You know, they don't have to keep pointing that shit out. You know, I know I'm fucking struggling right now. I'm an all star, though, and I'll pull out of it. Yeah, I want you to uh, you go pick on Dan Boyle, fuck. You know, he's only got five goals, you know, and get off my back, fuck. A lot of people say that during the course of struggles, you see really good signs of teams coming out of it. Do you see that in your team? Yeah, you know, I don't really fucking pay attention to signs. The only signs I pay attention to are fucking dollar signs, you know, my fucking check and shit, you know, I'm a fucking all-star, so whatever, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, if we're, uh, if we're fucking underachieving, whatever, fuck, I'll just ask for a trade at the end of the season for underachieving. As prominent a team as the Maple Leafs are, there's a certain who are these guys kind of a notion about the team because the Sharks don't see them very often. Uh, tell us your thoughts about what you know about the Maple Leafs. People like Kessel, uh, they got two netminders that that are really excellent uh, that are playing well right now. Uh, that would be Reimer and Gustafson. But with, with Jaguar hurt, what what does that mean for you? Yeah, I don't know. Fuck, I uh, lost you halfway through the question. And you're fucking rambling on for about thirty seconds. You know, yeah, I don't know. Fuck, uh, it means uh, I can take advantage of a fucking team that's struggling right now. You know, I'm a fucking all star. You know, so hopefully I can put some more goals in this, and I, you know, I got a chance to uh, fucking get in the all-star team still, you know, because I sh fucking should be there, you know, I'm a fucking all-star, it's, it's a fucking scandal, you know, it's sad, you know, what the fuck's Eric Carlson doing there in fucking Ottawa, you know, it sucked, it sucks, you know. Well, if the monster is in net, certainly he's a, a big presence, but your goaltenders have been playing well. Yeah, I don't know, fuck, is he? Has he? I don't know, I don't even pay attention to that shit, I just wonder why the fuck I'm not in the all-star game, you know, it's fucking pissing me off the more I'm thinking about it right now. Tell us a secret about being in the K-Fox equipment room, what's the story with your sticks, what's your routine? You know, that was supposed to be kept private, you know, that's where I keep my special, uh, stash of all-star sticks, you know, I give them at fucking Walmart and stuff, so why the hell are you bringing that shit up, you know, shut up, fuck. The sticks are thinking, <laughs> and so are we, the San Jose Sharks yeah, take on fuck. the Toronto Maple Leafs, we'll see who the netminder is tonight for Toronto when they step out onto the ice, the San Jose Sharks will be on 98.3 FM in the arena, and of course, everywhere else, it's 98.5 K Fox.